All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Lab Maniacs patron stream. This time it's for, you know, September, because it's September. So as with last month, these are going to be much more regular now. We're going to be doing monthly streams where we, in usually the first block, will feature some of our patrons. And in the second block, we'll have a full Lab Maniac pod. You may notice from the screen that um, this is not an EDH deck. So I usually put out polls so that you guys can decide which of my decks I'm going to play on stream because, you know, I'm a people person. In response, Jim Wolfie decided to put out a poll with what deck or talent should Dan learn on stream? And the overwhelming victor was uh, learning how to make a daiquiri, which I have never done before. So you see before you here, um, well, the ingredients for a daiquiri. So I'm going to attempt to make this, and then I will drink it. So the, in the instructions I pulled up online said that the first thing you do is you put some rum into a bottle, which is why I actually decided that this is worth doing, because I like rum a lot, and, uh, and I can drink rum drinks, because rum is great. So I think it said a 2 to 1 to 1 ratio. Uh, because I'm a heathen, I'm going to make two. And because I have enough rum. Uh, it specifically said a dark-aged rum. Uh, luckily, I still had some left of this Appleton Rare Blend, which is just that. All right, so there's my two things of rum. And then it said an ounce each of simple sugar. Or simple syrup, not simple sugar. Sugar is sugar. So that goes in next. Okay. Mm, tasty. And because I'm a heathen, I just got uh, this nasty lime juice as opposed to squeezing it myself from like fresh limes. So bear with me for like 10 years while this tries to come out. I did not, I did not plan for how difficult that is to come out. Oh my goodness, we may be here for a bit. This was supposed to be a nice, quick, and dirty demonstration of how to make a daiquiri, and instead, I just have a defective... Alright, hang on. I have a knife here. I'm just gonna, like, open this a little bit more, maybe. Maybe it'll come out now. Let's try again. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's lime juice. All right, there we go. There's the lime juice. Pour it in. Uh, shake with ice. I don't have one of those fancy little other kinds of things, so I'm just going to use my regular shaker. And we're shaking, and I'm not pouring it everywhere because I'm not an idiot. And let's see how this turned out. This is very brown. Oh my goodness. That's really good. That's really good. Cool. Well, all right. I hope you're happy, Jim. I've now learned to make a daiquiri. Uh, I forgot to garnish it, but whatever. Let's actually play some magic. So, today, for this patron stream, I am joined by another of our, uh, our wonderful patrons who you have not seen before. This is Lil Brother. You may know him from being... Sorry, I didn't want to drop the knife on myself. A really good brewer. Uh, he brews lots of stuff, so you'll be able to see him playing this time. Uh, we are also joined by Million Little Lee, who you may remember from staxing the hell out of us with Glissa in our last patron stream. I am me, uh, Dan, Lab Maniac Guy. I'm the one who talks a lot. 
And in our some other corner, wherever he is, yeah. I actually forget the order, is right. Cobblepot, who hey, is, everybody. you know, the spice monster of the group. Yep. So, for our commanders this game, I am playing Shimmerzer, as was decided by the polls. We have Million Little E trying to stack us out on Glissa. Little Brother is presumably playing his uh, Demon Tyrant Sidisi list. Is that right? That is correct. Yeah. And <clears throat> Cobblepot, of course, is not revealing his commander until now. <gasps> Locust God. Yep, I'm going to be playing the Locust God. Well, honestly, I was not expecting that. I thought you were going to play some more gutter snipes or whatever. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I don't. I, I have no idea what that deck does. It's not even one that he's like mentioned in terms of the spice he's working on. So... <laughs> This is probably going to be pretty good. So let's shuffle up. We have decided ahead of time what the you know table positions are going to be, just because it would be really unwieldy to do otherwise. So the table positions are me, Lil Brother, Cobblepot, and then Million Little E. But the turn order itself has not actually been decided. So, gentlemen... Would you like to roll 2d6 to see who gets to go first? All right. Six. Three. I got nine. I've... I have a four. I have an 11. So uh, I'm I'm thinking Cobblepot is getting to go first. Seems like. So that will put us at Cobblepot, then little or million little E, then me, then little brother rounding out the rear. So I am get going to ship my first seven. That taken care of. I am getting rid of my first seven as well. Same. They I say in third, to go with my second. With Necropotence and Grasp of Fate in them. They're usually not good. I had no lands. Oh, and for those of you looking in stream for my exact list, it's actually Bolshevictory's uh, Shimmerzer list, or at least it was when I last checked. Uh, but yeah, you can you can find it on my tapped out profile or his. It's just his deck. Oh, I might have to go down to six, boys. And for those asking, Millions Commander is Glissa. That is an altered Glissa the Traitor. She's the black green. Legendary something Zombie or another elf. from Mirrodin. Zombie Elf. That's a nice type line. I'm going to keep my second seven. Going on to six, try one. I like this. Um, so first, uh, I think it's brother, or Cobble. Cobble, I said you. Yeah, because yeah. I got a level. Scry one. Uh, I will ship it. All right. I guess this is what I'm going to do. Keep my second or my six. Is that everybody? Everybody square. Cool. Rudder, okay. you're good. Just I'm verbal good. confirmation. Cool. All right. Well, then, Cobble. Let's get it started. Take okay. us away. Drop a turn. I'm going to open with an island and cast a Mox Opal. Cast a Sense Phase Defining Top. Fancy. And with that, I will pass turn. Okay, is my turn correct? Yep. Okay. I will Red and Catacomb fetch. For a bayou and play a host ball bomb. Ooh. 
That's pretty good. That's pretty nihilistic. And that's not a good pun. And off they go. Draw for turn. I will play a Misty Rainforest and pass the turn. All right. Draw for turn. Play a Yavamaya Coast. I will tap it for blue. Go down to 39 life. I will play a Mystic Remora. Uh, and I will pass the turn. Uh oh. Uh oh. So I have no response to Remora. I uh, have no priority right now. Just kidding. Yeah, go I am not blue. Yeah, I got nothing. Okay. It's like the results. Okay. Question. Passing turn. Untap. Mm -hmm. Draw turn. I am going to another island. What the blue players? And with that, I'm going to pass. I couldn't hear anything of that. Oh, a forest. And you can draw a card as I play a chain to myself, please. Okay. Ooh. That's pretty good. Anything else? Um, um, I'm gonna if if, if there's a resolve. I have no responses. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go. Cool. On your end step, I'm going to fetch a tap talent fountain going to 39 because I totally remembered to move my life total dice. Wait. No, it's not in there. Somewhere. What? So what's in there? Uh, why? Why does this happen? There it is. Tap hello top. Now let me shuffle and burn even more time from the stream, not doing anything. I've already eaten like a good five minutes, probably. I'd be ashamed of how long that lime juice took to squeeze out. That was that was not great. All right, untap, draw for turn. I would like to play an underground sea and cast a Felwar stone, which can currently make blue, green, black. So is Oh, so can I draw a card then after I get the card? It's how it works. Uh, Brother, you're kind of breaking up there. So there's a Chains of Mephistopheles and a Mystic Remora trigger. Uh, so if you would like to draw for your Mystic Remora trigger, you must first discard a card first, and then you can draw. If you cannot discard, instead you would mill and not draw a card. So you will discard and then draw. Uh, this is here. All right. Um, then I will go to my turn. I'm going to pay for the Remora. I'm going to draw a turn. Um, a forest. And I will pass turn. Okay. 
Yep, drop return. Going to play its events back myself. Down to 38. Cast Grim Monolith. Do you... I'm not going to pay for All right. Uh, then I will discard. And... And I will stop there. Okay. Tap. Uh... Forest. I'll play Glissa. I have no responses to Glissa. Still a little brother. I uh, pass. Priority. I'll pass priority too. Okay. Hey, audio's back. Let's go. Untap. Draw for turn. I would like to play a command tower. I allow it. Oh, thank you. And I will cast <laughs> a Zur. No, it's cool, cool, cool. So it's not my next. I have no response. All right, I uh, I will pass turn after the Zer. All right, so that means I'm next. All right, um, I will not pay for more. Um, I'll draw for turn. Too expensive for you. I will play a Forbidden Orchard. One second. I will pass turn. Okay. Your end of turn. I'm going to cast rapid hybridization targeting Xur. No! Can you instead cast Pongify? Um, I do not have Wait, a Wait, just kidding. In I do have a frog lizard. Oh, good. I was worried. I knew I had the monkey. All right, that's a dead zer. Okay, on top. Draw for turn. I'm going to play a mountain. Gross. And... I am going to play telepathy. What is that? Cobble. All opponents play with their hands revealed. You are a bad person. I pass priority. <laughs> and a bad magic player. <laughs> uh, I don't really want that to happen. Uh, I'll mental misstep that. Whoop, 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 Pain whoop, whoop. too. I will let that go away. And... It's so scary that someone had to mental misstep it. Right. It's more I'll scary that it. someone deigned to include it in their deck. All right. Million, your go. Untap. I'll draw. I'll play a forest. Mm. 
Mm. The Grim Marlith. All right. Okay. I'll play a Basalt Monolith. It's not anywhere near as good. <laughs> no. And I'll play a Scrap Trawler. Also not very good. Scrap Trawler's MVP, okay? <laughs> Maybe in Stop that hating. time. Stop hating. All right. And... Untap. Oh, no, no, no. No! Just... Damn it! <laughs> Say go. <laughs> Too much stuff. All right, now I'll untap. Draw for turn. That's okay, I guess. Hmm. 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 I will. Cast a Lotus Petal. Okay. Seems good. I will move to combat. Swing at me. Definitely coming at little brother. All right. I take it in the chin. Uh, 34. Shock for a Godless Shrine. Bringing me to 37. And guess what I'm going to cast? Okay. So, um... I'm going to crack pedal and cast her again. <laughs> <laughs> no response. I'll let that through. Yeah. Cool. I will pass turn after that. Uh, at the end of your turn, I'm going to cast Don't you do it. Linda Don't Bull's you. Vault. Okay. And I will give, uh, I guess, Kyle Pot a 1-1 one, one, uh, spirit. Cool. That costs you a life, right? Off Yavi Maya Coast. Runner! What? You're at 33 now. That's relevant. Oh, well, my bad. Uh, all right. Well, then what I'm going to do. So how was your day, Cobble? Not too bad. A little bit slow. Wow, for thanks for asking yeah. me. So how was your day, a million? No, <laughs> you asked Cobble first. You didn't even want to include me. Well, he's more important than you. I mean, like, you're playing Glista Stacks. That's probably more of a deck than whatever Cobble's on. Maybe. No, I don't not. honestly know. That's actually a toss-up with you two. I'm not sure. Oh. Wow. Cobble's Bruiser. Cobble's Bruiser. Well. They are what they are. They, they Yes, they are. <laughs> they are that. Besides, I'm still waiting for you to make Glissa like awesome again because I really want to play her. No, you don't. You want to give me crap about playing Glissa every second. Yeah, I want to give you crap about her. That's how you find out what's wrong and then make her better. I've still got a Glissa somewhere in this box. Sorry, hang on. There's socks on top of that for some reason. <laughs> that's that's how important Glissa is. I should have a Glissa in here, right? No, this is just my junk commanders. Glissa is somewhere in here. I know there's a Glissa in here because I put a Glissa in here when I was going through my junk. Because I was like, I want to play this in CDH. And then I was like, wait, Glissa can't work in CDH. Right. And then you stomped Lil Brother. Oh, did he, did he, he finish? He's, he's going now. Oh, what yeah, did you play I, there? I finished. I'm sorry. Woo! Um, I went to my next turn. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go there. How many times did you uh bring, bring, it, bring it up? Bring it up. Yeah, how much and I'll give a one left? one to Dan. Woo! How much life did you pay into vault? 
brother, any response to me casting my command? Oh, brother, how many times did you do vault? I'm sorry? How many times did you cycle vault? How many life got um, What's the issue? Uh, no, we're asking you how much life you spent on Lindell's vault. Oh, zero life. I just used the first one. Alright, so you were at 33 life then. You have to pay it the first time? Uh, no, but you used Yavi Mayakos Twitch. Oh, you're right. My, yeah. my bad. You're good. Sorry. It's an underground sea. So. Sadisi? Uh, Sadisi Trader, I'm assuming? not responding. Yeah, I'm not responding to her either. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I will mill through. Dark Confidant. Phantasmal Image. Underground. Zoom. Get a zombie. And I will uh, pass turn. Okay, end of turn. Going to do... Pay six, using an improvised Word of Invention, Axis 5. Mm. Uh, that's pretty good. I have no effects. Yeah. Does that mean that he just wins this turn? No! He has to, like... Not as long as the spell. chains are there. Yes. Yeah, chains, chains helps a lot. Right. I'm hoping. I mean, yeah, I'm... I'm not going to respond to that. Okay, so the results. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, have you seen the list that uh, what list I'm running today? How much did you update it from your last list? Uh, I don't. I don't know what the last list you looked at is. The last stream list. Oh, yeah, no, I did. Ooh, I'm going to check that then. It's in the stream, so if people wanted to look at my list, uh, Cameron could link it to them. And it's now in chat. There's only people who asked about it. I don't expect anyone to ask about Glissa. I like this list a lot better. On tap. Draw for turn. I'm still testing a bunch of cards for it. Just, but yeah. Understandable. <clears throat> I am gonna think for a second. So I will see. Tap for a blue. I don't believe sighing costs mana. It does.
as Siggy pointed out, sighing also does not yield the Paradox Engine trigger. This is why I play simple decks like Shimmerzer. To be fair, Cobble is a deck that tries to draw his deck, and there's a Chains of Mephistopheles out, which is one of the strongest anti-draw hates in, in the meta. Right. I mean, I guess there's a Chains, but like, we don't know that Cobble actually cares about drawing his deck. The Locust God could be a trick. He might be making us mill our decks with it. Who knows? You can never assume what Cobble's doing. Mostly because you've probably never heard of it. <laughs> I think. So, Million Little Lee, how's your day going? He's top, the top three. The day's fine. Only fine. Yeah, well, I stayed up till 2 a, two last night. Um, so I didn't make it to pre-release today. That's rough. And then, I guess I, I played Rainbow with people. Is that one of the new shooty games? It came out uh, two years ago. Rainbow Six Siege. Yep. I feel like there was a Rainbow Six Siege that came out for the PS2. But I could be wrong. I don't really... There's a lot of Rainbow Six games. I there were like them. two or three that were really big back then, and they were more Rainbow than Sieges. Siege is more Call of Duty. <laughs> That's... Siege <laughs> is more CSGO than Call of Duty. CSGO. So even though it's on a console, you use a mouse and keyboard? Uh, no, it's on. I'm playing on PC. Okay. Ah. So I'm going to activate top. Okay. Discard her. Discard a pact of negation to draw. Woo! And then top goes on top? Yes, it does. Round two. Let's not and spill on my cards. I will cast a trinket mage. <laughs> oh no, I dripped! Oh, there's fine. Response. No response. I have no, response. no responses to Trinket Mage. Did someone say they had a response? No response. No. Nope. Okay. Siggy claiming the tapped out meter matters. <laughs> well, if that's the case, pretty much everything I've brewed over the last like three weeks is ninety nine percent casual. Hey, your your Glissa list is more competitive than Doom Tide on tapped out right now. You know so. what else is more competitive competitive than Chainville Teffrey? Lots. <laughs> uh, Candelabra. Candelabra? That's pretty good. That's annoying. Ares, every prosh list is 99% casual. Suck it, Riku. <laughs> so, blue and colorless. So I've got one blue, three colorless. And I'll use one to cast the candelabra. Okay. And it's not in play. So three colorless and a red. And yeah, 
I will cast Locust God. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Hey, Cobble, is that dry erase indicator you're using one of our business cards? It is, indeed. They're so handy. Because on one side, I can tell them all about our streams and our Facebook page <laughs> and YouTube. And on the other side, I can use it for keeping notes or for getting tokens, like, you know, flying haste insect tokens, that kind of thing. So they're really great. That's right. Beautiful. <laughs> Just okay. beautiful. Tap again for another blue. And I'm going to <laughs> use the three colorless to untap three land. And I'm going to use that land to transmute a drift of phantasms. Whoop. What did I get? It's a, it's a three command, a three casting cost. So. Okay. That's, that's what I care about. You can tutor for a three CMC card that's infinitely better than Drift of Phantasms. Yes. Um, can it tutor for a three CMC card that the card that he's tutoring for? I mean, that's pretty good. Then I will tap this and the other two mana. Mana. Whatever. Um, is it chemistry? Uh oh. Uh oh. I knew it. I knew it. I even said in the set review this was going to happen. I'm so ready to die to this. Please kill me with Is It Chemister. Card in hand? None. Okay. You can't draw any cards. I don't have any cards in hand to untap. Are you passing then? I'm thinking. He could concede. He could. I concede. He could also attack. I can. With his spirit? And yeah. Like him, sir. I can block your spirit with my 1-1. One, one, or with my 1-4. I am going to pass, unfortunately. Woo! We're not dead! Hmm. Uh, what's in your graveyard? In my graveyard, the things that you care about are a pact of negation, rapid hybridization, and whir of invention. Okay. Uh... There's also a drift of phantasms and telepathy. Yeah, okay. A little bit, what's in your graveyard? Brother, oh, um, I have a overgrown tomb, phantasmal image, dark confident, limb duels vault, mental misstep, Mr. Mora, mana drain, and viscera seer. Bob, yeah, I, I am going to reanimate your Bob. Oh boy, All right. here you go. Oh, wait, I can't give it to you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll just face him towards me. How about that? Here's a bot right here. This backward magic card. You could take one of your patron tokens and use your dry erase marker to draw Bob on it. I don't have one. <laughs> he doesn't have one yet, unfortunately. Oh, did yours not get to you? No. Well, that's awkward. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um... I'm going to, so, um, I'm trying to think. 
How about if I swung with you, would you block? Oh my god, don't you politic on me. Don't you don't... politic on me. <laughs> He's got a 1-1. One, one. I rewarded him, so he could block with that. Yeah, so I could block with the 1-1. One, one. Would you? I mean, he's probably... Uh, what's, in your, what's in your graveyard right now? Uh, Vodin Catacomb and Reanimate. Right. Yeah. Um, right block. It's really hard to say. I mean, it lets me get rid of some graveyards... A graveyard, some graveyard cards. I mean, it could be, you know, the image of, of any Baird student, sir. What? <laughs> Are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm drinking. Okay, um, I'm gonna swing cheers. a couple of hot. Okay. How much is it? Three. I'll take three. Okay. Down to three. Got him. I'll play Command Tower, and I'll say go. Untap. Draw for turn. I just did. I would like to play a Polluted Delta. Hey, did we just lose this right now? Actually, that's pretty cool. Hang on. Man, this is the wrong turn to go for it, because I really have to pee. Uh-oh. Let's go another turn cycle. I will... not do that. I'm going to cast a silence. No response. To a little brother. Yeah, well... I guess... So, so silence is good. Mm. Is silence just spells, or is it activated abilities too? Just spells. Okay. Uh, Cobble, what's in your graveyard? While I resolve this polluted delta fetch for a uh, tundra telepathy, war of invention, rapid hybridization, pact of negation, and drift of phantasms. And could you read the text on what's his face for me one more time? Um, you're going to have to be more specific than what's its face. If is you were it Chemister? Sorry. <laughs> it is a two and a red for a creature, a goblin wizard. It has haste. It's a one three. It's rare. And <laughs> uh, its first ability is pay a red and tap to exile target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. You can also pay one colorless in a red and tap and sacrifice the chemister to cast any number of cards that have been exiled with that copy of chemister without paying their mana costs. I And uh, Nihil Spellbomb hits one player, correct? Yep. Cool. Well, I don't know why I'm shuffling because I'm about to move to combat. Uh, we're gonna swing Zer at somebody, anybody. It doesn't matter. Uh, Lil Brother, Zer trigger. Swing him at me. I'm not <laughs> swinging him at you, Cobble. <laughs> no blocks. Swing him at me. You have a flyer. All right. I, with my Zer trigger, am getting a card that some refer to as Necropotence, but intelligent people refer to as Necropotence. Or those who have read Morrow's Tumblr blog. And then I'm going to shuffle. How much life do you have, Dan? I have 36 life. Which is quite a few. Alright. Deck here. Let's figure out how to win. I'm going to start by tapping Felwar Stone for a blue and casting a High Tide. Then, I would like to tap Underground Sea, making black and blue mana and casting a Demonic Tutor. 
And I'm just going to kind of not wait for you guys because I silenced you. So just like yell loudly if you're going to notion thief me or something. Hmm. Demonic tutor for this card. I'm then going to shuffle thoroughly and pay 33 life into Necropotence, leaving myself with three. I'm not paying 35 life because that's dumb. I may need to do something like a Gataxian probe. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 31. No. Yeah, 31, 32, 33. All right. I would like to move to my end step and put these cards into my hand. I am going to continuously hold it to your main phase too, forever. Oh, come on now. Slow play, warning million little... Yeah, I'm going to call a judge okay. for slow play in like 30 <laughs> seconds. Okay. Would you like to pass priority? Yeah. You will? Yeah. Alright, cool. Got him back. We're good. I was worried about that. Let's do some shenanigans. What do we have here? That's pretty good. That's okay. This is fine. That'll work. These are good cards. That's a good card. That's a good card. All right. I will uh, F6 mostly. That's right. Actually, is this even playable? <laughs> well, uh, this is one of the worst shimmers I've ever seen. Whoops. That's not good. And dice first. Let's make three mana because high tide. And that helps a little bit, maybe. And cast a shimmers or mirror. Shimmer mirror. Shimmer mirrors here. Shimmers mirror? Shimmers mirror. So now all of my things have the other thing. Your no, artifacts your have artifacts flash. Have heat. Artifacts flash. have flash, that one. I will make two mana. One of them white. The other of them is the blue that the high tide force is on me because it's a dirty, dirty whore. I will use the hmm, white mana to cast a mana vault. I will then cast a Chrome Mox. I will imprint. What do I want to imprint? Actually, that's kind of dope. I will imprint a ooh, Time Twister. <laughs> that feels wrong. Yeah. Then mm -hmm. I will. So this does that. Which goes there. Use the white mana to cast. Uh, wait, I used the white mana, didn't I? Yeah, I have I have blue floating. I'm not incompetent, right? I will make two colorless mana. And cast an Azorius Signet. Don't you have... Uh, so I have blue and colorless floating. 
I will use the colorless to tap Azorius Signet. So I have blue, blue, white floating. I will use the blue, blue to uh, blue, blue, colorless. Man, uh, I'm confused. Couldn't you have played just Angel's Grace and then just drawn your whole deck? No. Angel's yeah. Grace does not interact positively with Necropotence because you still cannot pay life that you don't have as a cost. So I can go from one to zero, but I can't go from zero to negative one. Oh, well, that's a bummer. It is a bummer. The difference between that and ad nauseum is you're just losing the life as part of the resolution. You're not paying. So uh, with my blue, blue, white, I'm going to make another blue, and I'm going to cast a Quicken! <laughs> uh, discard a card already? Oh, excuse me. I will discard a card to choose to draw a card. I'll discard a basic island. There you go. I'll draw a card. So Are you ready for this? Mm-hmm. Windfall. Sorry, I just okay. this. <laughs> oh my god. I know. This you know you don't draw any cards. I'm going to right? for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, You're 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Wait, Wait, hang on. I'm just going to know my entire deck, aren't I? Dan? No, there's a chance. <laughs> what have I done? 1, 2, 3, yes. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Hang on, I forgot what the first tens place was. Damn it. All right, so we're all going to mill a whole bunch. Whatever. Whatever. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're all going to mill 29 cards. And discard your hands. And I'm discarding into exile uh, a whole pile of cards. <laughs> all right. Epic that was, fail. That was a good shimmer turn. Right? You said 29? 29 cards, yeah. If you are playing the drinking game, please please join in on Dan's failure 8, 9, now. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 29. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Don't so, forget, you guys will mill everything as well. And you'll also Great. discard your hand nine, as part of okay. this. I don't have a hand. Seven, oh, 12, God. 13, I'm just dead. 14, 15. <laughs> So I'm milling, right? Yeah, you're milling. All right. That's, uh, that's that, I guess. So, uh, and Dan doesn't draw any more cards? Yes, and Dan is at three. I uh, mean, I'll get to draw on my draw six, step. No, you don't. Seven, I have a Necropotence out. Nine. Oh, sh. Well, Necropotence doesn't draw, so it's fine. <laughs> so, brother, you also discarded your hand as part of the windfall and did not draw any cards. I also. I, I'm sorry? You windfalled, and so you discard your hand. Yes. And then you mill. Yep. yep. So Hands everybody gone. should be empty handed now. And then we're good to go. I assume Dan is done after that, as he was doing all of this in his um, end step. So, anybody have any other responses in my end step? Um, no, but I want to know everyone's relevant cards in Graveyard. Oh, God. If you, if you <laughs> hit me with that hill spell bomb, I just I lose. Don't, I, don't I actually Dan. just lose. Everything is in my graveyard. Yeah, okay. I don't care about you right now. I care about <laughs> the graveyard deck. Uh, little brother? Yeah. What's in your graveyard? Uh, nothing. Nothing of, of, of note. Okay, um, yeah. I guess Laboratory Maniac, um, Deathrite Shaman, Protein Hulk, Gene Kataxis, Mike Gast and Hollow, um, uh, Razakath. Pretty much every single possible card that I could use to win the you game. You have the animation spell in there. So, what? You have the animation spell. Like, uh, do you have? What's it called? The deck three. Dread return. You have a dread I return. I do not have a dread return. No. Okay. No, I was unfortunate enough not to have that. Okay. Then yeah, I don't think I care that much. I'm gonna go ahead and just you know. F6 for my you turn. Can, you, can, you do that. <laughs> I'm going to go have some water and try and not die. 
So is uh so what are you doing, Melian? I'm not doing anything right now. There's nothing worried to worry about right now. All right. Is it my turn? Yeah. Yes. Um yep. down. A little better. One, two, three, four. Um draw for turn. Hmm, this looks sexy. I will play a Arbor Elf. Uh, question, uh, little brother, you had Sadisi triggers on each one of those mills. Each one of them is an individual mill. So how many? They're individual mills. Yes. Oh shit! I didn't know they were individual mills. I thought it was just a mass effect. Uh, so each so card had, draw is. Uh, I, I believe one. that is. Ooh. Well, if that's the case, that changes. No, uh, actually, give me a second. That is really awkward. Do we actually have a judge around? I don't know if we have a judge. Because I discarded up to here. Trains isn't so a trigger. It's a replacement call. effect. Okay, it's a replacement. Then no, it's all one trigger. It's a trigger. It's all it, one. Trigger. It's all one effect. So you just get your one zombie. Okay. So I got one zombie from that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Well, what? How does Dan have any blockers? Yeah. He's got the one one, right? He's got a one one, a shimmer mirror, and the three three. Yeah, I have several blockers. Suck it. All right. Um. Well, I'll survive the block. So I. Uh, let's see. I'll just pass turn because it doesn't help me to attack at this point. Okay, end of your turn. I'm going to activate the chemister uh -oh. to exile a chain of vapor. Uh, that targets, right? It does. Uh, no, no, the chemister? Yes. Hey, I'm going to exile your graveyard. My graveyard? Yeah. Okay. Um... Scrap Troller trigger. I am going to get myself a Chalice of the Void to my hand. Okay. Untap. Draw for turn. Mm. Oh. Because I drew, I get an insect. Used to saying that I get a lot of zombies from that, and that we screwed up. Does it? I'm going through Isn't trying to figure that effect? out with rules. Changes the replacement effect. Yeah. Well. Ooh. No. Yes. Yeah, so the confusion is is would because make it multiple triggers. when you do a card draw and you have triggers and replacement effects that affect a card draw, it handles them at an individual level rather than at a bulk level. So if you are drawing seven cards, it considers it down to a single card. Um, so should I count how many I had in my graveyard? Or yeah. is like the moment pass because... You no, know, count that for now, um, and we can get back to it. Uh, theoretically, the question is, is if you would have had lethal for attacks. Um, I had... Uh, I should have ten more zombies than what I have. Well, nine more zombies than what I have. I should have eleven zombies. That's a couple. That's yeah, enough to kill million, which, right? Which definitely would have changed how I approached that. I probably would have started attacking people um, if I knew I had that many zombies. We'll just assume well, millions at fifteen less life, and you have ten zombies. Uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. 
give us a moment. I'm actually going to be trying to get in touch with rules, uh, with live chat to make rules sure. Rules people. Yeah. So uh, if we need to, we can back this up. Um, we have had one action that's happened since. Right. I haven't actually cast anything on my turn. The only action was we had the... a knee hill spell bomb happen after a chemist activation. That's right. I also rearranged my blockers. That matters. I can, I can put them back the way they were before. If we need to rewind. <laughs> wow, Dan. How many uh, blockers did you have, Dan? Like, what I kind have of three. Do you have? More than enough for your army of zombies. So don't even bother attacking me. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we'll rip that idea then. Yeah, you should probably what try are, and... I have the Frog Lizard. Blockers, that's a 3-3. Three, three. I have Shimmer Mirror. That's a 2-2. Two, two. And I have a Spirit. That's a 1-1. One, one. That's from you. Mm. Thanks. And how much life do you have? I have an irrelevant amount of life for your purposes. <laughs> well, I just want to know. Uh, it's three life. I... It's three. I have three. Three? Okay. I have a very robust life total that can survive you attacking me. Oh, good. So yeah. are, are we rewinding it? Because uh, I'm hold on. To attack me, then. We're waiting. Yeah, I'm asking DCI Judge Chat right now. I'm totally going to die here, aren't I? Yeah. That seems silly. You know what you should do? You should try what? and kill Cobblepot, because he's about to make an army of locusts. Uh, well, he can't do anything as long as the, uh, you know... Chains is in play, so that's what kind of he's just gonna dread return a lab maniac and like do something. I don't know. Yeah, but he's probably also gonna get his graveyard nuke because he's trying to like play his entire graveyard or whatever right now. Probably. <laughs> See, I don't have any way of doing anything with my graveyard, but he could win the game with his. Okay. Uh, this is technically in the graveyard, and this is on the field still, right? We're going if we're going back. Yeah, we're going back. So I don't have an insect. My stuff is all tapped. We're just waiting. I'm glad I could like completely ruin this game with a punt. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't ruin the game. No, I definitely did. I would have been able to win if I had actually like paid attention to what was going on around me. <laughs> I can't. I was like, "Oh my god, he just windfalled." Yep, it would have been a gas windfall too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just incompetent. You and me both, brother. Uh, <sighs> so, are we still waiting on the judge ruling on this one, or? Can I start yes, swinging? we are still waiting. Um, okay. Uh, so, yes, if we hit uh, each creature, you get a zombie for each creature. Okay. So, there we go. So yeah, I have right. 11 zombies. Army of zombies. Uh, well, then, I will um, go to combat then. Okay. Sure. Um, how many zombies I will you swing got? on Dan with. Um, so you have three blockers and you have yes. three life. Yes. So I will swing on you Two. with. Two zombies. <laughs> with five zombies, I think. Five. Well, yeah, so five towards Dan. Um, so we'll, we'll split this up a little bit. We'll go five towards you. And um, million. How many blockers do you have? I have so, two. Little gutter. Just so you know, yeah. every time one of your zombies dies from being locked, um, million is going to get something out of his yard to his hand. Oh yeah. Keep what are you talking about? There's totally not a chalice of the void in there. <laughs> yeah, but I can get the chalice of the void. Oh back yeah. I'm not. I'm not well, really with. If I still want to get rid of Dan, so I will kill Dan unless. But if he blocks, he's gonna give Million some bonuses, I guess. Come on, 
goddamn block. How many you swing at, at Dan? So six zombies at me? Five? Five zombies at me? Yep. Alright, I'll block one, and I'll double block the other. Suck it. Okay, so I lose two zombies, you lose three Again. guys, I think? One. I lose one guy. two, two yeah. guys. You can order damage as you choose between. There's two two zombies. Two. You lose one okay. guy. I lose... Uh, uh, yeah, I lose one guy. Excuse me. Okay, so two zombies and three things die. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get a Clark Clan Ironworks. Uh -huh. A Mirror Retriever. And a Cordex Shredder. Rip, Dan. I have been beaten by my own daiquiri. This is your fault, Jim. <laughs> I'm gonna go get more beer. Alright, so... I was finishing up with judges verifying we are now in the correct situation with chains. So DC Mills each individual card, so we are correct. Dan is dead now, I take it? What are the other yeah. life total changes that happened here? Uh, I don't think he attacked me either. Did you attack me? I didn't attack anyone else, but Dan, you just killed I didn't Dan. want to give okay. you like a full grip. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. And then are we moving to Cobblepot's turn after well, that? Well, at the uh, end of Little Brother's turn, turn yep. I'm going to activate Chemister targeting Chain of Vapor. In response, I'm going to exit our graveyard Returning Lotus Petal now. And then I'm going to... Activate the Locust God. To draw a card and discard a card. Do you have a card in hand? I don't have a card in hand. It's just going to go... It's just going to get milled. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't draw a card at all. Right. Okay. Um, so it's just going to be an Izzet Signet. Okay. And beginning of my turn, untap, draw a card. Yeah. Insect comes into play. Okay. How many cards does everyone have in hand? I have one card in hand. Okay. Um, little brother, how many cards do you have in hand? Nothing. Okay. This is sort of the position you want to be in, I think, if you're playing Glissa. Oh, this is hard. What creatures do you have right now, Little? Million. Million. I have a scrap I have trawler. Nine zombies. Oh. I'm sorry. I was talking to million. I, I realized that there's two littles. So, um, <laughs> million. I have a scrap, scrap trawler. I have a Bob, and I have a Glissa. Bob's gonna be real useful. So, I'm 
I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to swing for five at million. Flying? Wait, does the intic have haste? It does. Okay. Ow. Uh, take five, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 34. What's your light total at? Uh, It'll be 32 million. after that. I'm at 34. Um, okay. Because it says 37 right now. Okay. And I'm going to pass turn. End of turn. I'm going to untap my Basalt Monolith. Okay. Untap. Uh, Bob Trigger. Reveal a land. Draw a card. I'm going to play a Clark Clan Ironworks. Okay. I am Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. I am going to play a lotus petal. I'm going to sack it for 2 mana. I'm going to play codex shredder. I'm going to sack it for 2 mana. I have 3 mana. I have a mirror retriever. I am going to have one call of this. I'm going to sack this for two minutes. We're going to back up to three. Okay, so I have a scrap troll trigger and a mirror retriever. Mirror retriever is going to return this staff. Um, staff. And then scrap troll is going to return this codex critter. Play codex critter, sack it for two. Play lotus petal, sack it for two. Play a staff, sack it, return mirror retriever. And I have infinite mana. I think that's a good game. Yep, and then I'm going to draw my entire game, deck really. using Staff of Domination. Yep. There is a Chains of Mephistopheles out, so please explain how you'll draw your deck. Oh, you're right. Okay. You're right. I will not draw oh, my entire can, deck. You can mill his deck. <laughs> um, instead of drawing, I'm going to mill my deck and use Codex Shredder to return two cards. I am going to... Keep going till I hit Trin uh, Triskelion and Mercaeus, and we'll return them both to my hand. And then play them. That is a functional loop description. Good game. Good game. Oof. Oof. That was rough. That was one way to win a game. I like it. Um, so well, at least I killed we Dan. are. That's all I care about. Uh, we are now dead. Well, I was dead to me being an idiot, and the other two were dead to Million Little Lee with his uh, nice little line there, playing around his own chains, no less. So we are going to take a quick break so that we can get ourselves set up for the next pod, which is going to be me and Cameron and Luke and Siggy, I believe. And that'll be starting in approximately 14 minutes. So hang out, chat and chat. We are going to cut to a not something happening screen so that we can make everything set up so that something can happen. And we will see you guys in 15 minutes or so. Ciao. Ciao.